So I decided to break into Josh's studio and do it myself. What's up everybody, this is Jordan again, and I'm back at the Sonduck Film Studio with another After Effects tutorial. It helps out the channel a lot, and it keeps Josh from firing me and putting me back out on the street. So this guy Jordan keeps breaking into the studio and recording tutorials like he owns the place. Let's kill him. Well, I don't, I don't think that's it. All right, this is what we're gonna do. As soon as he walks in the door, we'll shoot him in the head. That seems like it'd be really loud. True. Okay, we'll talk to him casually and then push him in front of a car. Uh, witnesses? Oh yeah. We'll kill them too! Impractical. Hmm. A lightsaber him. Very practical. Star Wars? Yeah. Ooh, I like how you think. I'll force punch him across the room. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not in the franchise. Oh, it totally is. But I got it. I'll chop off his head in slow motion. Um, hi. Hey! What are you guys doing? Nothing. Cool, well, I had a tutorial to record, so I'll see you guys later. He is so dead. My sincere condolences to Jordan's family for killing him five times. Anyway, there's a lot we can learn from Jordan's humble sacrifice by talking about five ways to kill someone here inside of After Effects for your short films. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and be sure to smash that like button five times, each honoring one of Jordan's deaths. We're gonna jump into our first technique and we're gonna talk about how to shoot someone right in the head. All right, Jordan's here, he's waving hello and bang. Okay, so what we need to do, first we gotta add a muzzle flash. So you can find plenty of muzzle flashes online, but when you do search something and download it, you just bring it here in After Effects and you just have to match it up perfectly. Now with muzzle flash, that's what we have, but we gotta do this next level, we gotta add a couple things. One thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have a bullet hole in here. So you can do a quick search up for a bullet hole. It can be whatever you're looking for. It looks a little nasty, but that's what works. Now you'll need this hole to be tracked on your talent. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the tracker window and you click on track motion. You go ahead and track the motion inside your shot. So like this corner right here is good. And we'll turn on rotation. And I'll go ahead and track maybe his eye right here because that's a good contrasty point. Then we'll apply forward. All right, and when your tracking is done, you go ahead and create a new null object. Set your motion target to the null object and you click on apply. And now all we have to do is take our bullet hole parent to the null object. And now that hole stays on our talent and that looks great. Make sure you enable motion blur. Now, another thing you need to add to this to make it a little bit more believable is something coming out of the back of the head. Now, you don't have to do that. And I believe just having this blood asset just helps deliver the scene a little bit more. And this is what that blood asset kind of looks like. You're going to have to fine tune that for your scene perfectly. So what I did is I just uh, did scale and position animations to fit that perfectly for our blood asset. And one thing you should always do when working with muzzle flash is to duplicate your base footage and create a quick mask around, you know, the area of the muzzle flash. And what we'll do is come here to effect color correction curves and we'll just curve this up, kind of brighten up the area. And we'll have this be exactly one frame long and make sure to feather this. And what's all said and done, now Jordan is dead. Now that you shot someone in the head, how about we just double down and we push someone in front of a car? Okay, for the car hit, you need a couple of things. One, you're going to need a clean plate of the background. You should have that always. Lock it down on a tripod. Then you need to have your footage of your talent acting out the action and getting hit by a car. Now, you don't necessarily have to have the exaggerated motion of getting hit by a car, but that's up to you. Jordan's having a nice casual conversation. He gets pushed and boom, a car will come. So then we also have a shot of the truck going by completely by itself. So we're going to composite the truck and the main shot together. Here's how we do it. So we have our main footage here. What we're gonna do is go to edit split layer. So we need to cut Jordan out of the scene. So we'll grab the roto brush. We'll double click on our layer and we'll just brush him out of the scene like this. And when using the roto brush, you can hold down alt to remove areas that you don't wanna have in the selection. And then when you have your first rough selection, you can move forward here in the window. And this will help analyze your footage. Now you don't have to go too far because as soon as he starts reacting to it, we can snap him into the truck. So we'll go ahead and close this up right here. And now he's removed from the scene. And if you have your clean plate on, you'll be able to put your background back in the composition. So then we need to enable our truck layer and we'll put this underneath our Jordan layer. And now that we have Jordan painted out for several frames here while he's acting out getting hit by the car, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our layer, we'll split the layer right at the right moment. So right then is when I want him to get hit and 
actually maybe right here what i'm gonna do is now split my layer and take this layer here right click and go to pre-compose call it jordan still and what i'm gonna do here is right click on the layer go to time and click on freeze frame now we'll grab the puppet pin tool and just add some points on jordan like so and we'll move forward by a frame here and we can just snap them down on this car and then we'll also hit PR and keyboard for position. We'll add a keyframe for this and we'll move forward by a frame and we'll have them go right off frame kind of like so. And perfect. Make sure you enable motion blur. And to bring Nikki and Sophie in here, all we had to do was do continue our footage and roto brush them out of the scene. So now the truck can pass forward in front of them while Jordan is getting hit. And now all together, we have Jordan talking and boom, push in front of a car and he dies. Perfect. And they're happy about it. Typical. Before we roll on, if you're looking to produce professional work inside of After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our Motion Graphics Advanced Pack, which has 750 plus templates for all your post-production motion graphic needs. That link will be in the description, and if you pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. Regular deaths are boring. Let's force punch Jordan across the scene. Here's how we did it. Okay, the force punch is very similar to the car hit effect but I wanted to break this down as well, but not in full detail. So first things first, you're gonna need the clean plate. Lock this down on a tripod. We added some camera shake here in post. Then you're gonna have your original shot. You'll have your talent act out the punch and Jordan just takes a step back. And right as your talent gets hit, you're gonna cut out your punching actress. As you see, we have Sophie cut out from the scene by using the pen tool here, we created a mask. And then we use the rotor brush tool again to cut out Jordan just for a few frames here as he stumbles backwards inside the original shot. And when your talent's cut out, you'll have each actor on its own side of the shot. As you can see here, we have Jordan cut out completely and we have Sophie on her own half. Now, the reason why we're talking about this shot in particular is the VFX here. As Jordan goes back here, the lighting looks unrealistic, right? It looks bad. So one thing you can do is add a quick brightness and contrast effect to be keyframed. So as he falls back, he's in original lighting. And as he goes back into the shadow, he gets darker. So lighting plays a huge role in pulling off the effects. And as your character gets punched out, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and animate the position and rotation of your talent. So here's Jordan getting punched. And then as he falls back, we'll set the X position to take him out of the frame. And we can also increase the rotation here so we have a little bit of angle to it. So now Jordan, will be able to be pushed out of the frame, no problem. So the lightsaber effect is easy to pull off, but showing someone getting stabbed by it is another thing. Here's how we can pull off the lightsaber effect. So doing the lightsaber effect, here we are. So what we're gonna wanna do is, is create a new solid and we'll go to Effect Video Code Palette and we'll grab that free saber plugin. If you don't have it, just download it, it's free. So this will be the saber effect by itself and it's pretty much close to where we want to have it. We'll come into render settings, set the composite to transparent and we'll kind of just match this up exactly where we want the core end and start to be. So we'll go ahead and mess around those anchor points. We'll set our core size up to seven, eight, just depends on your shot and we can change our color here. And we'll set our blend mode of this layer to screen. Perfect. So obviously this by itself is super easy, but here's the problem. We want this to be coming out of Jordan's chest and we're going to have somewhat of a problem here. And so we need to put it behind him. And we also want this to be moving, you know, with our, with her hand. So it's really easy to do this. It just takes a few extra steps. So if you get sad right here, we'll go ahead and bring in our endpoint. So we need to do two things here. We need to duplicate our base footage. And as always, we need to roto brush out Jordan here just the front of his shirt here like this and we'll move forward and let after effects analyze this perfectly for us and now we can take out brushed out jordan and put it on top of the saber effect now if jordan brushed out all we have to do is track the motion of his body so we'll come here select the bottom layer go to track motion and since he has a great shirt here this is going to be easy to track so maybe we'll put this point right here on the green and blue track the rotation and put this like say right on the edge of his neck or something and we'll track that motion and be sure to apply that tracking data to a null object and click on apply then all we have to do from here is take our saber layer and parent it to the knoll. And now it's all set and done, boom, Jordan's getting stabbed with a lightsaber. And this could work with a real sword or a spear. You just need to have that image here in After Effects. And for our fifth and final way to die inside of After Effects, we're gonna cut off Jordan's head in slow motion. So this effect was actually inspired by an episode of Film Riot over 10 years ago, and I've just been wanting to do this. So how this works, we have our talent acting out in slow motion just for the effect of having it. You can slow this down and post even further. Uh, or you just record this in 120 frames if your camera has that. So you need to have your main talent act out the death and the sword, obviously. We have Jordan on a green screen. This is where we're trying to capture his head, you know, after it's been cut off. So that's all we're going to need him to do is act with his head. And then we have a clean plate 
So make sure to have all three of these elements. So we'll start with the main shot here. What we want to do is just grab the pen tool and we're going to come here and we're going to just mask out Jordan's head. Sorry, Jordan, you're dead. And now Jordan's head has been cut off. And one thing you're gonna wanna do is keyframe the mass path, each frame to make sure that it follows the same trajectory of his body. You might need to make some adjustments to those individual handles, but for the most part, you wanna be able to keep that cut consistent. So now we need to focus on Jordan's head, and once again, we'll just cut off his head here like so. And you can apply a quick keying key light effect, and that came out fine. Now with keying, one thing I suggest doing is go into the screen mat and set the replace method to hard color. And we'll set the screen gain to 110 bring down this clip white and that should be good for what we have here now your shot will depend and we'll make sure that our head layer is above everything else and now all we have to do is hit PR keyboard forward position add a keyframe for this we'll move forward and we can just have his head come down here like so and make sure you enable motion blur for your head layer so by having our talent act this out in slow motion we can slow this down even further we can grab all of our layers pre-compose it and now we can right click this go to time and do a time stretch here and make this a little bit slower and nice that looks really good and you can take this even further and add some blood effects to the cut to make that a little bit more believable so now you have five different ways to kill your friends family and your significant other in post-production here in after effects so i hope you enjoyed this video if you're new to our channel be sure to smash that subscribe button for more post-production tutorials just like this you can also hit us up on instagram we have tutorials on there as well and always be creating.